my very first period correct from Hot Wheels and big shout out to my buddy Steve who highlighted to me that the sale is up again. This is my second time that I attempt to purchase from period correct. My very first purchase was way back to their very first Hot Wheels release, the Mercedes-Benz 190E. At the moment I signed up and log in to purchase the 190E, it was immediately sold out and all my buddies and collectors around me are telling me that it's because of the shopping bot. The 2021 RLC incident made me go and google about shopping bots. They definitely do exist and it's really a shame that the collectors have to co-exist with the shopping bots in our hobby. Anyway, I got lucky but I paid an extra $40 for the cap. Decent looking cap. I'll wear it. I haven't checked the eBay listing yet just for the cap. It will be very interesting. And the cap itself comes bundled with a Hot Wheels casting with another additional 20 USD. If I can recall, the cap itself is about 40. Just like many other Hot Wheels exclusive with a case, the outer box is sturdy. Standard presentation case with the Lancia rally enclosed in it. No serial number for the Lancia. As always, the Hot Wheels logo are printed on the base. This is my very first period correct and the casting looks exactly like any other Hot Wheels premium casting in the mid-price range. All the logos are plastered around the casting just like a typical rally car. The period correct, the Lancia and also some markings. Wheel set wise are the standard Hot Wheels offerings. Very disappointed with the livery painting. They are not even sharp when viewed from close up. I do not have issues on other casting. The liveries are usually very sharp. This looks sort of like an injured printing. You can still see the noise is very visible on the livery. The logos are not sharp when come to this scale. Same issues for the rear. The sponsor's logo just look horrible. Overall, the look is okay. It's very presentable. Lancia is one of my favorite casting, which I've been collecting. But when viewed in extreme close-up like this, the livery just look horrible. Hot Wheels already forgot a lot of component for their outer body. All we left are just body paint and livery printing. The details on the interior are still okay. It's quite detailed, although they are unpainted. If I pick up this Lancia on the pack and the details are like this, I can still understand but being an exclusive that's enclosed in the standard presentation case, the livery printing like this are just unacceptable. Tomica Premier Mini GT and Global 64 which belongs to the mid-range did a much better job in terms of printing of the livery. They are very sharp and details like this are a shame. Metal base and no doubt the casting rose extremely well. Overall, I guess I'm one of the lucky few, but after paying 80 USD for the total including shipping and to get the Lancia like this, it's a big disappointment. I know many collectors will have different opinions, so what do you think? Do you think the Lancia is a great buy? Do let me know in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more upcoming features and remember to like, share and sub to this channel. Thanks everyone. Bye.